Hello everybody and welcome to the mad house. Happy Friday the 13th everybody. And since it's Friday the 13th I figured I'll do another one of these hockey mask videos. Welcome everybody to another sped up live stream. This is just a 98 cent Walmart hockey mask because Walmart has their Halloween stuff out now and I'm happy about that. Now, as I started live streaming this, I had already done some modifications to it, which if you've seen the mask before Walmart, you know you might notice a difference. I've already drilled extra holes into this thing to make it match more Jason's mask. Just using a little Dollar Tree sanding block to sand it down, get rid of the shininess of the paint will adhere a little better. I'm using the shade Latte and the shade Tomato Red. You can see my laptop sitting there. I have a reference photo to go from. And when I went to do the holes, I walked away from the photo and didn't look at it while I was doing the holes. I kind of did it from memory, so I missed two holes up towards the bottom. But, you know, it's okay. It's okay. I'm just doing some base coats of the latte color. I do end up mixing a little white into it and doing a little lighter layer for the second layer. And it looks a little better for me. There we go. Add a little light into it. <laughs> okay, I have a like the forehead portion of another mask of the same the same mask, the same kind of mask. Because I used the bottom of it for something else. <laughs> I'm testing out different ways to dirty up the mask on this little little bitty piece see what works best. I initially was going to use paint, which is why you see several bottles of paint, but I end up using something else. Yeah, I do spend a lot of time trying to perfect these little red lines on there man <laughs> I, I tried my best to get them look right even though I was gonna end up dirtying them up anyways so Doing this part was, was reminding me of like when you're trying to do a wing eyeliner. <laughs> you get one a little thicker than the other, like, oh, gotta go fix the other one. <laughs> get one a little uneven, gotta go fix the other one. Oh my gosh. adding some more of the latte color to get a more even coat. It felt kind of splotchy to me. You may not be able to see it on camera because I was videoing on my phone, not live via Facebook though, but I was trying to get a nice opaque color. <laughs> I'm using the okay, this is where part two of my live stream started, where everything was dry and I finally found a good way to shade everything. Shadow, yay! I don't know. I didn't think of it at first. I mean, I like to use eyeshadows when I do face paints too, man. I don't know. I didn't think of it sooner. This little eyeshadow palette is from Dollar, Dollar General. It was only like a dollar fifty. I have one that's like from white to gray to black, and I have one with purples too. 
<laughs> I don't know why I got purple one. I don't know. Just to have purple eyeshadow, I guess. <laughs> I'm just using the little spongy little applicator thing it comes with. It worked the best. I tried with a paintbrush. It was okay, but not as much as I wanted. I didn't even try with a Q-tip out of curiosity. You'll see that in a little bit. But it, it worked, but the Q-tip just tore apart quickly. So the best thing I used was just the little eyeshadow applicator that came with the eyeshadow. Just smeared that everywhere. It was a little, the middle brown, the, the dark brown and black is randomly across the thing. Along the edges first and all that. Now we're just going to use the dark brown and the black to shade around the eye sockets and all the little holes. And, here, and then when I start the holes is when I you try to use the Q-tip. <laughs> I'm really trying to make the Q-tip work, man. <laughs> I really tried. I pulled some of the frayed parts off and just kept trying with it. Uh. Now I did notice that on the video, on video, it's not as dark as it is in real life. It is kind of bright. I did notice that, but I'll have a picture at the end of it's closer to what it really looks like, and I'll start playing with different lighting at the end too. and then all of them holes. <laughs> all of them. Now at the time I was doing this, I was out of sealing spray and all I was Mod Podge. That just, and I didn't want to use Mod Podge because it was just gonna smear around the eyeshadow. So I waited to seal it. I didn't seal it on video. But I did go to the Dollar General and got get some for like $3.95. Miracle Premium Spray and Emerald. Clear. It, it worked pretty good. Alright, and we're done! If you want to see the whole video process, the first part was like 51 minutes and the second one was like 30 minutes. It'll be on my Facebook page. You can check it out. It's Sally Stargazer's Madhouse. You want to watch the whole weird process in a little time. <laughs> you can also check out my Instagram, Sally's, hang on, what is it? Sally's Madhouse, yeah, on Instagram. Thank you for doing this. Oh, wait. Thank you for watching this. I hope you enjoyed. Yes, that's how you say it. Oh, my God. But thank you if you did enjoy this. <laughs> uh, bye.